Hi everyone and uh, welcome back to another video. Um, I bought a new S-Works 2020 Venge. Um, if you watched my previous video, I've been running on a Tarmac SL6, a Specialized, which was a FAC 10R. Um, and I've been uh, eyeing on this, not this particular frame, but I've been eyeing on a Venge. I've been looking on uh, several platforms online. As you know, Venge is no longer in production anymore. Uh, but surprisingly, a few shops are still selling the Venge. I'm not sure, maybe these are back orders or some leftover stocks. Uh, but I could never get my hands on, on a new Venge. So uh, today I'd just like to show you my bike and uh, I've never ridden on it, I just collected it from the bike shop today. Um, this, so this is just my first impressions, impressions of it and uh, how I got, got this bike and uh, what are the modifications or what came with the bike. Um, so I actually found this bike on a, uh, an app here that we use in Singapore, it's called Carousel. Um, I, this guy posted his, uh, this particular frame for 5,500 Singapore dollars. Um, at that point of time, I was really interested in the frame, but I thought that the price was a bit expensive, a bit on the high side. Uh, assuming that I think a new frame was only about 7,000 or just less than that, I'm not too sure. So I, uh, on the same day when he posted the bike, uh, a couple of days later, I contacted him. I was like, I'm interested and I'm coming down to view the bike. Um, so first impressions when I viewed the bike, uh, this is a size 52. Um, from the right hand side on the drive side, it looked pretty okay. However, on the non-drive side, there was some uh, usual wear and tear on the frame. Uh, I'm not sure if this is appearing on the camera. There's actually a scratch here. No, it's not focusing, yeah. There's a scratch right where the rotor is. And uh, a few scratches, um, but I would assume this is a typical wear and tear on top of the top, right? top tube. There is a scratch over here. I mean, I'm, I'm just a bit picky, you know, knowing that I'm paying such a, a huge amount for a frame. I expected it to be um, in a pristine condition. Maybe that's uh, very unrealistic of me, but I'm on a budget. But uh, let me just... yeah, anyway, there were some scratches here and there um, just down on the chain stay. Uh, I mean, you would expect this kind of scratches uh, from someone who's been using the bike quite a lot. I'm not sure, I didn't ask this question, which I think was quite important, was um, was this his first bike or actually someone had been using it because uh, the marks and scratches were quite very obvious. Uh, let me see if I can focus this. Yeah, so it's somewhere around here. Um, yeah, but I think overall it is still okay. Um, and I think I paid a premium of $5,100. The guy was advertising for $5,005. I negotiated the amount for $5,001. Um, so most of the components on the bike were from my previous bike. Um, the wheel set, the NV the handlebar, this is actually pretty new. This was from the old bike. Um, so what came with the frame was the frame, it came with a ceramic speed bottom bracket, but I can't fit a ceramic speed bottom bracket because I'm running the Quark um, crank arm so I had to use recycle my old uh, SRAM dock crank uh, sorry my bottom bracket um, what else uh, it came this is, this is a 100 millimeter stem it's an arrow stem but the guy did not give me the uh, the arrow cap that came with it so I mean I just have to deal with it and I've uh, left a bit of stack there I'm just afraid that I can't uh, last that long on a very <laughs> low position so the wheels were from my previous bike. This is the NVSES 56. Um, one of the other major upgrade besides the frame was uh, I finally made. I bought the Altegra Di2. I actually got it for. Uh, I got it from Malaysia. I got it from one of my friends who um, decided to upgrade to a SRAM. I got it for about uh, just under three thousand, two thousand nine, I think. I've never tried uh, a, a, a Di2 group set. I've always been running on mechanical, so this will be very interesting. Um, but my first initial thoughts of the Altegra Di2 um, group set, I've never ridden any other group sets besides Shimano, not even a SRAM. So first impressions is I really like the hoods. On the previous mechanical hood, the this part was uh, very, very big. Uh, I'm not sure why, maybe because of the cables or whatnot. Um, so it is something that I need to get used to because it's so shallow here. I'm used to be holding it up like that. Now it's only like half my palm. 
something I need to get used to. But I like the finish of the shifters. I think it's really solid. And I also need to get used to shifting, you know, between these two buttons. I used to be pressing the whole lever on the mechanical one. Um, what else? Uh, the rest are pretty stock items. I've got like, you know, Chinese made bottle cages. Um, yeah, I think this is a very short video. Um, I've not ridden on it. I can't give my comments on how the bike frame performs. But on first thought, I think it looks amazing. Uh, I actually wanted the 2021 model, but I mean, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Uh, limited stock, you can't really get vent frames anymore. I just don't like the S the, the look of the SS SL7, which is a mix of a all-round bike and a fr uh, an, an aero bike. I just like, you know, this aero frame and it should just stay this way. I think it looks really slick and really fast. Um, yeah. Uh, so this is just my initial impression. I might come up with a follow-up video after riding the bike for a... Uh, a few more rides. Um, yeah, so that's it. Signing off. Let me know what do you guys think about my bike.